Hello guys, in this tutorial we will learn how to use our ESP8266 module with Arduino IDE. So, so long Arduino IDE is famous for using it with its board like the Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano or Pro Mini or anything like that. But now the Arduino community has extended its support to another board called the ESP8266 which is a Wi-Fi module. So, to use it with the Arduino IDE there are some steps to be followed which I am going to show you right here. And before we pro uh, proceed with the software, we have to get ready with the hardware. So this is the circuit diagram um, in which we have connected the ESP8266 module and the FTDI board uh, through some uh, switches and push buttons so that we can reset it and connect the GPIO 0 pin wherever necessary. So if you are completely new to this, please visit the link in the description which, uh, which will explain you more in detail. So this circuit has been made on a dot board. You can also make it in a perf board. So let me show you the hardware that I have made. So this is the hardware that I have made. So uh, as I said earlier, here we have the push button. Let me show you. Yeah, here we have the push button which will momentarily connect the RST pin of your ESP module to ground. In that way we can reset the ESP module. And we have a switch over here for which I have used a burk stick. So as you can see, in order to program this ESP8266 module with Arduino IDE, we have to connect the GPIO pin 0, which is this pin, this one, the brown wire over here, GPIO 0 to ground. But if you are using it with 80 commands, we have to leave this pin free. So in order to toggle between those two states, I have used the switch over here. So here it has to be connected to the ground. So let me use the Berg stick, use this connector and change it to this place so that GPIO 0 gets connected to ground. So that's it, the hardware is almost ready. Now let's see what we have to do with the software section. So open your Arduino IDE which I have already done. So you have to install a new board which is the ESP8266 board manager so that you can work with this ESP modules. To do that go to file preferences and you will get this dialog box in which additional board managers URL will be present. Here you have to paste this link. So this link can be found in the description. You have to just copy it from there and paste it over there, over here and press OK. So once that is done, go to Tools, Board and you can see Board Manager. So click on it. Wait for this downloading to complete. Now it's done. Now just type in ESP. And you should see ESP by ESP8266 community version 2.3.0 or above. And once you see that, there will be an install button over here which you can directly click. Here, since I have already installed it, it is asking, it is giving me an option to remove it, which I am not going to do. So you can directly install it from this button over here. Now, once it is installed, go to Tools, Board, come down and you should see this new boards appearing over here. So it should start with ESP8266 modules and you could see all the default programs and ex example files that have been given. So you can choose generic ESP8266 module. So once you done do it, you could notice that there will be some details appearing over here saying that you have shifted to generic ESP8266 module which runs on 80 MHz crystal and uh, which is a 512 KB. So once you get all these details, it has confirmed that your board has been successfully loaded. So in this tutorial, let's try to upload a small blink program to our ESP module. Yes, the ESP module has an onboard LED and it also has some ADC features, but let's skip all those for now and let's go and try the blink program. So this will be given in file examples. and it should be in ESP8266 and blink so here is our program so now before we start uploading the program we have to make sure that two things are done with the hardware one is that the GPIO 0 pin is connected to ground which I have already done and again before uploading we should press this reset button so if you press the reset button the blue LED will go high and then it will go off so once that is done we can go and click on upload so here is a sketch let me go ahead and upload it
it will take some time it will take some time more than that of uploading a program to an Arduino board because this is a different board manager so you have to wait for some time till the program gets uploaded you could also see that some asterisk symbol going on here and you could see some percentages so you have to wait till it shows that it is 100 percentage and you should see done uploading over here so once that is done close this module and if you notice the hardware you won't be able to see the output properly so before that bring this gpio pin back to zero and press the reset button so now you could see that the led is blinking over there the blue led is blinking over there based on the delay that we gave in the program so now once this is done if you try to go back to the 80 commands you would notice that you won't be able to work with 80 commands anymore so let me close this let me open a serial monitor and reset the module as you can see it does not show a ready so when I try with 80 commands it does not reply me anything so this means that the firmware that came with the module by default has been overwritten by this blink program so in order to work with 80 commands again you have to flash this module and then proceed with 80 commands I'll show you how to flash this module in the next tutorial